You know, sadly, YouTube doesn't have any tools for someone like me to do anything at all. Even if right now I did a highly edited quality video, which I've done on KO Gaming, and I uploaded that video to YouTube, a big edited style countdown or, or, or review, and I, you know, it's copywritten and everything, and I upload it, and someone literally rips the video off my channel and re-uploads it frame by frame to their channel on YouTube, and then try, you know, I have no recourse. They can literally leave it up there forever. Here's why. I can explain why. Trust me, I've been around the block 11 years. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Here's why. Because YouTube only cares about if they can be legally held responsible for something that happens on their site. They feel that they're too large of a website to be bothered with the little guy. And they feel that the only time they should ever take action against someone is if it's a lawsuit situation. Okay? That's it. So, if let's say, for example, tomorrow I uploaded a highly edited montage of tonight's gameplay of PUBG. All right? Let's say I took all my gameplay from tonight. I, here's the, the hits and misses of the PUBG stream or highlights of what we talked about. And I upload it to DSP Gaming. And someone literally 100% rips the video, puts it up on their, their channel unedited. They just want to steal my content straight up. What I would do is I would try to take down the video... What you can do is you can flag it for copyright infringement. This person stole my content. It's copyright infringement. YouTube will run an algorithm based on your flagging, okay? That algorithm will actually see if that person's video is a certain percentage the same as your video. If it matches that, it will actually enable the content protection. And what happens is YouTube will automatically take that video down and put up a copyright strike against the channel stating you have violated copyright. Uh, you know, you have no right to do that. You don't own this video. So, therefore, we're taking down your video. However, YouTube then opens the door and has the option to dispute that copyright issue. And this is what a lot of people ha hold our, our lean on as a way to get out, even though it's completely illegal. Yes, it is. It's completely illegal to dispute a copyright issue unless you actually feel that you did not steal, but instead you actually made a creative work that's different from the original person's content. It's illegal to dispute it. People still fucking dispute it anyway. They don't care because they realize there really is no legal actual consequence for it. If you just dispute any copyright claim against your channel, here's what happens. YouTube will then push it back to the person who originally gave you the copyright claim. So again, if it was me and I had placed the copyright claim against a person saying someone had stolen my content or my video, I would get the notice immediately stating, oh, well, we know that you flagged this video, but the person who uploaded to their channel is claiming, no, they think that they're they're within the rights of the law. So whether it's fair use, whether whatever the reason could be, doesn't even matter. YouTube doesn't care. As long as you dispute the copyright claim against your channel and say, I, figure, I feel it's fair use, uh, YouTube will push it back to the claimant, i.e. me, and say, Okay, well, the only way to proceed now is if you sue them. So if you're going to sue them, please produce evidence that you're suing them and you have a lawsuit pending with a lawyer, and then we will take down this video permanently until we see legal, further legal instruction, okay? If you don't produce actual evidence to YouTube that you have a lawyer suing someone for that video, they'll just put it right back up. And from, from at least, this was years ago when I, when I was ever involved in this process, a long time ago, but... The process, like, I instantly could claim the video. It would be taken down usually within 24 hours, okay, causing a strike against the channel. They would dispute it immediately, and within two weeks, the video would be live again, and the, the strike would be lifted, and all the, the content would still be up again. So, if anything, okay, the only thing that putting copyright strikes against people on YouTube actually does is it'll take down a video immediately. So if I made a creative work, I, I worked, put a lot of time and effort into it, I edited a video, I only want people to watch it on my channel, technically I could put a copyright strike against someone for it if they did steal it, and then within, say, a week to two weeks, it would be restored, and there's nothing I could do about it ever getting restored, but, you know, at least it kind of, the video was down for two weeks, so at least then your video had a chance to get viewed on YouTube before it got stolen, you see what I mean? Um, but... They will not take anything permanently down at all, okay? And really, where this really sucks... It, by the way, I did not want to fucking switch my weapon right there. That was a mistake. Where this really sucks is if it's not blatant theft. Let's say it's not blatant theft where they just 100% stole your content and uploaded it raw. What if, like in my case, I did a video game playthrough, okay? 
and the playthrough is 10 hours long. Someone took four hours of that playthrough and did a long ass, this is how you don't play video. And it's not just lighthearted humor, it's nasty. It's got all those disgusting, toxic YouTube comments on it calling me a pedophile and a scammer and insulting my family and do all the nastiest possible shit in order to get clickbait views, right? Guess what? I can never permanently take that video down. Maybe for a week and then it goes back live and that's it. It's out there forever. And there's nothing I can do about it unless somehow I become filthy rich and can afford to hire a lawyer for every single fucking video. Just think about that. And, you know, when I do a big playthrough, let's face it, there's people out there who still do. This is how you don't play videos. And I'm okay with them now. I don't care anymore. Being very honest with all you guys out there, I don't give a crap about you. This is how you don't play anymore. I don't. I, the, the, they can't use the nasty comments anymore because my comments have been off for two years on YouTube. So I don't care about that. If they want to do edited style content videos, you know, abridging my playthroughs and say I suck at a game, I don't give a fuck. I haven't cared for a long time. Let them do it. It's not gonna. It does. If anything, I've proven still being here after 11 years. Those videos are not gonna end me. If anything, a lot of them give me more attention sometimes. So I don't care. Let them do it, right? But for what gets me, is when you get the really hurtful, harmful stuff out there. People who are going out of their way to purposely take things I say out of context. Or take a one-off issue where, oh, one day Phil raged. Let's do a compilation of only the few times that he raged within a year. But make that act like that's all his content, right? And that's completely misrepresenting me in a slanderous way. On purpose, meant to defame me. I actually looked into the law about this. Just you know, a few years ago. Talked to a lawyer. And I did some research about this, okay? You can't just say and do whatever you want on the internet. You can't. If you actually are aiming to make someone look bad in a way that is not representative of the truth of the matter, it's considered either defamation or slander depending on the medium. I believe it's slander, I believe is his printed word, and defamation would be everything else like spoken word. So if you were making a YouTube video, and the YouTube video says, Phil is a thief and a scammer, and you don't actually present concrete evidence, but instead you present bullshit, like, you know, conspiracy theory shit and half-truths and things that aren't true, that's illegal. It actually is 100% illegal, okay? And that person could actually be sued for this. It's 100% proven in court. That is illegal. You can't do it. People have been sued before for this kind of stuff all the time. But you never see that kind of stuff on YouTube. YouTube is almost based off of that kind of behavior, Right? When you take a look at YouTube and the amount of videos out there that are this guy did this, this guy did this, this guy's this, this guy's this, and it's all just like gossip and slander and defamation and nasty stuff. It's ridiculous how much of it there is out there. What the fuck? I should get in a vehicle and see if there's still any good. I haven't used one yet since I returned to PUBG. But, uh,. But no, like, this, we know YouTube, a giant chunk of YouTube content is based off of nasty shit that's actually illegal. Unless you're... It, it, the way the lawyer explained it to me was, if someone is presenting an argument, and that argument is presented only to make you look bad, and it's not a truth. Like, if it's speculation, or if it's actually something intended... Ugh, oh, wow. What the fuck? This is weird. That only, that only did 50% damage? All right, this game is fucking weird, dude. It only did 50% damage. What? I wanted to heal. I, ch I changed weapons by accident. Huh? I guess someone was behind me. I couldn't hear it in my headphones. I guess someone was behind me. But anyway, the way that it was explained to me is if someone... If it can be proven that someone is intentionally trying to hurt you or your reputation because they're not presenting facts, what they're doing is presenting half-truths or they're slandering you in a way to hurt you intentionally. If their actual intention is to hurt you, that's illegal. In fact, in the United States, it's illegal if it's untrue. In other countries, I actually found this out in India, you can't even try to defame someone if it's true. Even if there was a guy who was a complete disgusting human being, who was a, a swindler, a scammer. Uh, he had hurt multiple people in nasty ways over his life. If you actually put that like in print or on the internet, 
You could get sued by the guy and he would win. It's actually in their law to get... You can't do that in India. It's completely illegal, which is nuts. <clears throat> um, I didn't... You know, that's just insane to me. Like, you can't even speak facts. No, you can't. In India, you can't speak facts publicly. Wow. Holy shit. What a world to live in, right? Um, but anyway... Um, yeah, like, uh, that's what hurts me is those videos out there that are so bad and they're meant to hurt me to get shock value so that person can get clickbait and make money. You know, I don't care about this is how you don't play. I don't. But I care about if you're if you're actually saying disgusting, nasty stuff about me that's completely untrue or again, much like with the, the interview that I had with the quartering. <clears throat> when he asked me about some of the most controversial things that ever happened to me and I explained them in detail, he was like, oh, okay, that kind of makes sense. Not that he was saying a lot of it was okay. He was like, okay, it makes sense now. Because from the way other people have spun it, it never made sense. But you telling it that way makes sense. And that's the thing. Like, most of this negative stuff that people say about me, that's the case. It's because they didn't actually present the, all the facts of the case. They purposely leave shit out or they purposely make shit up and add in stuff that's not true. So that overall, I look like a scumbag. When in reality, that wasn't what happened or whatever. You see what I mean? <clears throat> so... The truth of the matter is, those are the things that hurt me the most. And no, Keenan, you know, even though, Keenan, those things are completely illegal, that kind of stuff, YouTube will not take it down. Even if you flag, you, you flag, you can contact YouTube and say, this is bullying, this is content that's meant to hurt me, this is defamatory, this is copyright infringement, whatever you want to say, YouTube will not take it down unless you sue. All right? Maybe things have completely and utterly changed in the last four years or so, but... I don't mess with it anymore. I don't bother with it. Like I told you guys, I'm done with YouTube. Like, in my opinion, YouTube was a thing of the past. It's a flash in the pan. It was hot for like five, six years. And then when all the negative stuff started happening on YouTube, I wanted to get the fuck out of there. And then forget it. Are you kidding me? After the adpocalypse? To hell with that shit. That was the end of it for me. Like, after the adpocalypse, why on earth am I going to put effort into putting videos on YouTube when they could just demonetize anything they feel like at any moment? And they did it to KO Gaming, the channel that I put a year's worth of work into. They just demonetized the whole channel. So that's, I don't, I don't care. Let the idiots on YouTube do their illegal restreams because they can't do it on Twitch because they already got banned because they're pieces of shit. Let them do their illegal defamation. Let them do all the illegal shit they want to the high heaven over on YouTube. Let them have their own toxic circle jerking community on YouTube. And let's have fun over here positively on Twitch. Don't worry about them, right? Don't worry about claiming their content. Don't worry about anything. Don't, no, no take down. Let them do what they want. I'll be here no matter what. I'm not going anywhere because I've stood the test of time and nothing they do can hurt me. <clears throat> uh, Sam Bridges cheered. He said, what do you feel about the argument detractors have kept you in business and kept you around? That's false. I'm not saying that having... You know what they say? Um, <clears throat> what's what's the word? I don't. It's not any attention is good attention. But you know what I mean? Like, oh, any press is good press. Even bad press is good press, is what people say sometimes, all right? I can see both sides of it, all right? First of all, you're right. If people are constantly talking about you, either for good or bad reasons, at least they're still talking about you. I've always said this over the years, and I still attest to this, okay? Uh, That's it, Cypher. Any publicity is good publicity. Thank you, Cypher. That's what I was looking for. Any publicity is good publicity, right? Um, what I would say is this. <clears throat> um. God, now I'm losing my train of thought. Hold on. Oh, that the worst thing that could possibly happen to someone, an internet personality or an internet content creator, is that absolutely no one cares anymore. Not that if people actually think of them completely in a negative light, even then you get attention. The worst thing that could happen is I turn on a stream and absolutely no one shows up and no one cares and no one wants to talk with me and no one wants to interact and it's just me talking to myself. Because then, what's the point? Right? What was the point? And that's the worst thing that could happen to someone like me who does this for a living. So, to some extent, what you're saying, Sam Bridges, is, oh, any attention is good attention, so if the haters give you attention, it still helps, right? To some extent, yes. But, but, all right, when you are known for something positive <clears throat> and fun and interesting and original, and then <clears throat> you get destroyed by a toxic group of people who are doing stuff not 
because they're on a crusade to better the internet because they feel that your content isn't good. Not because they feel that you're doing actively something wrong. Because the truth of the matter is there's so many people over the years who do things way worse than me. And you guys know that. And you know that a lot of things that I've done over the years were genuine stupid mistakes. Me just being an asshole or an idiot. Not actively trying to hurt anyone. I was just more ignorant than anything else back in the day when you could say that I did hurtful stuff. Because I was stupid. Not because I was trying to hurt people. But I didn't realize... <clears throat> the repercussions that my what I said and did on a stream could have or uh, in a video could have you know what I mean um it was just me being an ignorant moron and I know that now but you know back then I was stupid by the way I've said this a million times there was no guidelines back then of how to be an internet personality how to do it right and not make mistakes and hurt other people and piss people off none of that I was the one of the first guys to actually do it like I did and it was all about learning from the live mistakes as you did. And a lot of times I didn't and I was obstinate and stupid. I openly admit all my mistakes from back in the day, okay? <clears throat> but <clears throat> I was at one point 100% positively thought of. Then people started making this how you don't play. And I was probably about, you know, 70, 80% positively thought of. And then maybe it started to increase a little bit more where people were a little bit more negative towards me. But it wasn't a huge deal, right? And then, over the years, it got worse and worse. And then, it became... It wasn't, this is how you don't play anymore. Now it was, oh, Phil actually is a bad person. He's not a bad gamer, which is what this is how you don't play was about. He's actually a bad person, and here's why. Here's all the slanderous things about him, which weren't true. Most of the stuff that was ever said about me was half-truths or horseshit. Some of the things people still say about me, about me to this day are half-truths and horseshit. That's fucking, I still can't believe people still bring up the Project 7 thing. That blows my mind. The thing that was a non-issue, a non-entity, no one cared at the time. None of the people who actually had pledged to see anything Project 7 made were upset except for one person who I had a personal conversation with. It's just insanity. It really is. It's complete insanity. Um, but that's what I mean. Like, okay, you can argue that if these idiots weren't constantly being negative about me and stealing my content, a lot of people wouldn't know about me. You're actually right. I agree there. At the same time... If these idiots never did that stuff to begin with and made me look bad, I'd be way more popular now than I am. I would be way more popular now because I was one of the top content creator guys on YouTube at one time. Everything that you saw on YouTube, I would be in the top search rankings. I would get those day one views for new releases. And then what happened? False copyright strikes destroyed DSP Gaming. You can't argue it. You can't argue against it. It, it concretely 100% happened. You know? They put false copyright strikes against my channel, you know, abusing YouTube systems. YouTube refused to fix the issue, but instead, you know, said, oh, fix it yourself, essentially, because YouTube sucks. Again, YouTube's attitude, if we're not getting sued, we'll take no action. So they didn't want to fix the issue, even though they knew it was their own broken system. Unless I threatened to sue them, they weren't going to fix it. They wanted me just to wait it out and fix it on my own. So I had to, and it destroyed my, my DSP gaming channel. Okay? Um, so... Truth of the matter, if those things hadn't happened, you know, four years ago, roughly when they happened, things would be very different right now. Things like my YouTube channel could still be at a really high level popularity, even though certainly it would not be as popular as it once was. No way. No way do I ever believe that DSP Gaming was ever going to stay as popular as it was once you had all the people jumping in with the money that they did and the skill that they did for high production values and all that. It was, it was, it was on borrowed time because... I'm not that kind of guy. I was the guy who just sat there and played games at face value and shared those raw experiences with all of you. And we all knew that long-form gameplay like I do was not going to fly on YouTube forever. At least, though, maybe it would have been lasting longer. And certainly, I tell you right now, and this is me being very honest, even though I made bad financial decisions, there's no way I would be in half as much financial distress as I am on this day right now if YouTube hadn't fallen apart the way that it did because of those false copyright strikes. Directly, 100%, that's cause and effect. That fucked me over completely, okay? So I understand what you're saying, Sam Bridges. You're like, well, in the modern era, a lot of people find out about you because of the negative stuff, and they come check out your streams, and it could be a positive thing. That's true, but I wouldn't be in this situation now if it weren't for the horrendously bad things that happened to me, you know, four-plus years ago. So it's kind of like... Oh, now be happy that I get troll attention? Why should I be happy? I wouldn't be in this position if it weren't for the trolls to begin with. You see what I mean? So it's kind of hard for me to be happy for it. And at the same time, the last thing you want is for your content to become 100% around that shit. You see what I mean? Like, yes, I acknowledge that the trolling exists. Yes, I acknowledge that 
those people will come and contribute and those people for a lot of times give me the attention that get people to come check out my content i'm not gonna i'm not stupid i'm not ignorant and i'm not gonna lie about it but at the same time i don't want my whole stream to be all about trolls you see what i mean i i hear horror stories about other other streamers who their whole stream is just them getting trolled nonstop. they have no legitimate fans their entire fucking stream is trolling 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 I don't want that. I, I want the stream. Yes, I'm okay with some. I don't want the whole fucking stream to be that. I want us to have a good time. I want us to be able to honestly interact and have fun and not have every comment be something nasty and bad. You know? Like, that's not, I don't want to do that. I've said this to you guys before and I'll say it again. I wouldn't continue to do what I do if I didn't feel that I was helping someone or giving someone something positive out of it. You know what I mean? Like, if all you're doing is getting a, a laugh on, on my... A laugh at me, a laugh to make fun of me, rather than actually genuinely enjoying some of the things that I do. I wouldn't want to do it anymore. You know, I'll put up with the people who are only here to be nasty and negative to me, as long as it means that at the same time, I get to do something positive while doing it. You see what I mean? So, that's that's kind of my attitude, okay? Let's change the subject, because a million people have contributed now. Yugbyte resub for three months. The sub hip hope you're doing fine. Thank you, Yugbyte, for the sub. I appreciate that. Um, and Vive NSX cheered again. He says, it's unfortunate so many companies can neglect state and federal law with no repercussion. Let me just put it this way. YouTube, it ain't going to last much longer. They just got sued by the FCC and lost millions upon millions of dollars for not uh, doing proper advertisement law for children. It's YouTube's on its way out. They have, from what I've heard, at least a dozen class action lawsuits in the works against them and not to say that they're all going to go through but if even if one or two does i don't think google is going to keep youtube as you know along for the the ride when youtube is not turning a big profit or anything for google and if they get sued into oblivion i think they're just going to cut the cord and i know that's scary because there's so many people who have content over the years on youtube and it could go away overnight but they are they have been ver violating the law Many years. And you can only get sued so much before there's repercussions for it. You see what I'm saying? Whether it's the law comes down on them or they lose so much money that Google says as a parent company, okay, fuck this. Um, something's going to change. I'm not saying YouTube's going away by any means. I think it might change. I think the website itself or the business model might change. I think that um, we may start seeing... Actual things start getting taken seriously way more than they ever have been before. No more of this, oh, everything's automated, that's our excuse kind of deal. But that's all I'm saying. Um, Darkside Johnson, reset for four months, said, Love you, Phil. Glad to see you PUBG again. Are you looking forward to Modern Warfare? Do you think Call of Duty is beyond saving? I don't know. Like, the beta, I, I was very mixed about my thoughts on the beta. In some ways, I thought the beta was a lot of fun. In other ways, I thought the beta was just more of the same. I guess we'll see when the game finally comes out next week what we think. Um... But I'm going to approach it with at least an open mind and a little bit of optimism, maybe a little bit more than previous years, because I really had no faith in Black Ops 4 after Black Ops 3 was so bad, and I was right. So let's see what happens with Modern Warfare, okay? Um, Alexander Rossi reset for four months. Thank you, Alexander Rossi. Vote Republican to me a dollar. How could you get the money the detractors make back? Can't. It's impossible. There's no way. The only, the only way that anything like that could happen is like, Somehow in a court of law, I get a ruling that actually states that this is how you don't play and or all of the defaming videos against me over the years are actually deemed illegal and theft. And I now have the ability to legally force YouTube, not me, but legally force YouTube to seek out all the people who did that over the years, see if they made any, any ad revenue, and actually pay me damages for it. Okay? But... It's never going to happen. Number one, I told you, I'm done with YouTube. I don't care. I'm not going to sue YouTube. I'm not going to be dealing with that shit ever. I don't care. Um, YouTube is just an archive for my streams, period. I'm not like that. I, I, I kinda, I'm not going to go through that. I'm not that kind of person. I am a positive forward thinker. I'm not a backwards, angry, shake my hand at the things that happened in the past kind of thinker. I'm moving forward positively with what I'm doing here on Twitch, and that's all I care about. So it ain't going to happen. Okay? Thank you for the dollar tip. Sam Bridges did all bit trees that you said yourself a lot of your detractors are former fans. Maybe a lot of them feel you did them wrong. I mean, it's, it's positive, Sam Bridges. I mean, it's po positive. It's possible, Sam Bridges. But, like, I'm just a guy making videos on the internet or streams on the internet. If you don't like something that I've done, it's not within my realm to tell you now that you need to, like, change what I do. Just move on, right? If you actually think I've done you something wrong over the years, 
Don't watch my content. Go do something else with your life. That's what normal people do. I hate to tell you that because some people get so insulted when I say that. That's actually what normal thinking, healthy-minded people do. They don't obsess. They don't go crazy. They just say, okay, this person screwed me over. This person is not a good person. I cut my losses. I move on. That's the end of it. They don't do disgusting, horrendous things to them and or other people who are nice to them or support them and or their loved ones. Yes, their loved ones. These people, like, my, my, oh my God, did he just break his leg? People like my relatives and shit that have been negatively impacted for after doing absolutely nothing wrong. It's so fucked up. He's right there, but I don't have a scope. Without a scope, I can't shoot him. <laughs> I'm just going to run. So, Sam Bridges, I mean, I understand what you're saying, but what does that have to do with reality or the modern day? That's the other thing, too. Like, what could I ever have done to anyone so horrendously bad on a, on a video on YouTube or a stream that now you want to end me? You see what I'm saying? You want to laugh at me? Oh, he sucks at a game? Fine. Oh, I want to watch it. This is how you don't play video? Fine. Oh, I actually want to turn his fucking utilities off behind his back so he'll have no heat and no electricity for a week. Oh, I want to shut down his YouTube channel permanently so that way he can't make a living anymore and he goes into complete financial ruin for the rest of his life and it fucks his life over permanently. People have done that shit. I want to swat him. Hopefully he gets shot. That happened to me. Do you see my point? Do you see the difference here, Sam Bridges? Okay, I hope you do. I hope you understand this. <clears throat> uh... Hidden is back to the 50-bit cheers to shout out to his friend Griff. Okay. Fragons cheered. Is it looking back? Do you feel the false cover strikes were a blessing in disguise? If you're still doing well on YouTube. Maybe you wouldn't be an interactive streamer like today. D listen, I love the content I'm doing now. Okay? Don't get me wrong. But I am so bad off financially because of it. I would, you know... Uh, you, you, you know what they say? Hindsight is 50-50. There's no way I can look back and say, Oh, this would have been better. This would have been worse. I don't know what would have happened if I'd stayed on YouTube and the apocalypse, or not the apocalypse happened, because the apocalypse is what got me off YouTube. It was actually the years before. The thing is, if my, if DSP Gaming were still very prominent, like it was in 2015 before the false copyright strike, when the apocalypse happened in 2017, I might have been all right. I might have been like, okay, it wasn't such a ginormous dip that now I could have continued to still make YouTube videos. Maybe I would have had to do a hybrid. Okay, the hybrid being... We have stream more, focus more on the interactive streams, but, you know, now I am in really bad shape because of what happened. And, no, you you will never get me to positively say that false copyright strikes are a good thing. That is the dumbest fucking thing I could possibly say. No, in no way, shape, or form could people actively doing disgusting, illegal, malicious shit against me fucking over my life and my livelihood for many years. It's not a good thing. It never amounted to anything. What that is is a justification by people who either did it or supported it to try to say it was a good thing. It's not. It's fucked up. It's illegal. Those people are trying to feel good about themselves and try to justify and say they didn't do something wrong when in reality they did something insanely wrong. I never did a damn thing to those people who did that to me. Not a thing. They did, did no right to justify what they did at all. So don't even start trying to fucking try to be an apologist for people who do that kind of shit. Fuck no. The false copyright strikes against me did not help me. It was not a good thing that I had to change my business model the way I did. I would have liked to do it on my own terms, you know? If anything, like I said, if I, I wish that I had been less stubborn and willingly of my own accord maybe he shows it to become an interactive streamer earlier. Not being forced into fucking doing it because someone took all my livelihood away because they're an illegal criminal scumbag. Okay? <laughs> Christopher Columbus cheered. He said, did you see YouTube banned Red Ice? What a shitty platform. No one, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm just gonna camp. I'm just going to camp here. Okay. Because I'm right in the middle of the fucking screen now. So there's no reason not to camp, right? Okay. Um, Captain K-Man resub for 20 months. Said woo woo PUBG. What's up, Captain K-Man? Good to see you. Thank you for the resub. Let's see here. 
What? Joe Schmo tipped me a dollar. This is just listen to this. This doesn't even make sense. Listen to what he's saying. You don't care about YouTube anymore. Why was there all that drama when you lost ad revenue and when your channel went dark or whatever right before that? What are you talking about? Are you talking about a year and a half ago when I was making way more ad revenue on YouTube than I have been this whole year? Like, I have no idea what you're talking about. It sounds to me like, like you're doing exactly what everyone does. You're taking one moment in time in the past and referencing it like it's an absolute moment that is, is, is valid forever. No, as of right now, YouTube is the last thing on my mind. Even though, yes, I want to upload videos to YouTube so the archives are there for those who can't catch the streams. I'm not doing edited content for it. I'm not doing original content for it. And I don't really care about it. So, thanks, but you have absolutely no fucking clue what you're talking about. If you are referencing something that happened in the past, you're referencing something that happened a year and a half or later, and it doesn't apply to the modern era anymore. But again, that's an incredible, incredibly common thing that people do is they will take something from the past and act like it matters today. As I told you guys, this year, 2019, ad revenue went by half. Of everything I had ever made on YouTube before, it went by half. So even last year, it was low. Now it's half as much as it was. See, it's just... It, it, I don't understand how you how you don't understand that. <clears throat> well, someone says whose name is Kit Kat Trick or Treat tipped a dollar and says, unfortunate, for example, if someone plagiarizes original content in a university, that university will execute a council review and proceed an investigation whether they should terminate someone's uh, degree. They may enact law enforcement as well. Right. YouTube just says, oh, well, just auto flag. There's been times, I told you guys, what was it, last year? One year. I can't even remember when it was. It was recently, within the last two years. Someone pretended to be Rockstar. Now, this is just as recent as within two years ago. Someone pretended they worked for Rockstar Games and said that all my, my playthroughs of, of Rockstar content were illegal and they were going to put copyright claims against them. And then the claims started going through. Copyright claims. Strikes against my channel. And I contacted YouTube and said, what evidence do you have that anything that this guy said is true and that he works for Rockstar? And I forced him. I said, if you actually try to shut down my channel, I will have to sue you. And within two days, they researched it and found out the guy was a troll and they reversed all of it. So why is YouTube like that? If a university does it one way because they know the right way to do it, if everyone else on the planet, any other corporation does it one way, but YouTube does it a completely ass-backward different way, why do they get away with it? And the answer is because no one sues them. Now, the FCC just got on YouTube, and YouTube lost hundreds of millions of dollars because of it. That's the first step. Everyone else now is going to be a part of this. So they're going to say, oh, we finally got a major regulatory body to admit YouTube doesn't abide by the law. Now it's time. And I get the feeling there's a lot more stuff in the pipeline. Just saying. Okay. Whew. <laughs> Juan, you do realize, he took me a dollar saying, oh, you are ranting all stream is more content for them. No matter what I do, it's more content for them. Are you that daft? Are you that dense? It doesn't matter. I could sit here all night going, and they would make a negative montage of me going, it doesn't matter what I say or what I do, it's negative for them anyway. That's why I told you, I don't care about that shit. I don't. I don't give a fuck. So let them do whatever the fuck they want. If they haven't figured out that it's not going to get rid of me at this point, then what else can, I, can, can possibly be done? And the truth of the matter is they don't do it to try to get rid of me anymore. They do it to make money with clickbait, negative, defamatory stuff because YouTube lets them get away with it. And that's why they do it. They're not doing it to hurt me. They're not doing it to end me. They're not doing it to be a just cause and get rid of... They're doing it because they benefit from it or they wouldn't do it. So wake the fuck up. All right. So Gen Gerard Crow. Right, rightfully so, wants to change the subject. And he tipped me a dollar and he says, what do you think about Modern Warfare no longer having loot boxes? Not having a, a DLC season pass anymore. All DLC maps are free and it's going to have a battle pass in instead where you can earn in-game cosmetic content by playing the game. Well, here's the thing. I mean, that's 100% pro-consumer, right? It is. It's 100%. Wow, that's amazing for the consumer. That's great. But my question is, what is the long-term business model for this game? Are you actively... You're really going to try to tell me that Activision and Infinity Ward are like, ah, oh, screw it. We made enough money, man. 
We're going to bite the bullet this year. We're just going to make it so we have no actual ongoing revenue stream for this game. And therefore, no DLCs, no, you know, none of this. What? No, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I think it's bullshit. I think there's going to be a way. They're going to find out a way to make money on that game. I would be shocked and startled if you're telling me that this company is turning over a new leaf and they are not going to seek out a way to make ongoing money with this game. That's just ridiculous. That's ludicrous. That's preposterous. That's just stupid. That's stupid. There's no way. By the way, it's obvious someone's stream sniping because they know I'm here. Look, there's a stream sniper who knows I'm here. Doesn't matter because someone just got fucked up anyway. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe it's those two people fighting outside and it's just a coincidence. Maybe there was no stream sniper. At this, at this part of the game, this far in, maybe that's the case. By the way, oh my god. I'm still in the circle, which is insane. Um, so anyway. um, Yeah, like I really am incredibly skeptical, Gerard Crow, that they have, do not have a way in mind to make more money. I don't know what it's going to be. There's got to be something. There's got to be. Unless they really have turned over a new leaf and they're doing something different with the company, right? Captain came in, did 100 bit cheer. He said, Oh, he didn't do anything. He did the Terminator cheer mode for extra bits for the, for the streamer. So thank you very much for that. Appreciate that. Um, Vote Republican tipped me a dollar and said, I agree. Hindsight is 50 50. But in the modern era, not 50 50. Hindsight is 20 20, is what I meant to say. Not hindsight is 50 50. Hindsight is 20 20. In the modern era, what will be the best way to monetize your archives when YouTube is gone? Uh, I mean, there's other options. Um, <clears throat> I would say I could just leave the video, ar the videos archived here on Twitch and just have a big body of work on Twitch for people to watch on demand. Although, admittedly, I know Twitch is nothing like YouTube. It's very hard to navigate. You wouldn't be able to find playlists and the like. It would be harder to watch an ongoing playthrough. I could consider another third-party website. I don't know what it would be. I don't know if anyone has any recommendations of something that's a competitor to YouTube when it comes to archiving videos. Wow. Did you actually see how bad that was? I couldn't fire. I was trying to shoot the guy in front of me, and the game was so delayed, I couldn't shoot straight, and I couldn't turn and continuously shoot the guy. I 100% had the drop on that guy and could not hit him once because the game controls are so delayed and so bad. At least we're getting a lot of fun conversation and meaningful conversation tonight. Seriously, because if I cared about the game, <laughs> I would be very upset, but I don't give a fuck about this broken-ass piece of shit game. Holy Lord. I fired one burst into him that apparently didn't hit. I was unable to turn the aim properly to continuously maintain the aim and hit him because it was so delayed, and he just got in my face point blank and pulled the trigger and killed me. What a great game. It's pretty crazy they charged for this game, isn't it? This was a free-to-play game on, on PC. You had to pay for this on console. Good lord. Okay, well, I got time for about one more game here tonight. That is pretty fucking bad. Yikes. What a way to make... You know, you guys complain about me. And say, oh, Phil Ebags and does all that. Imagine if you made this game... <laughs> I worked on the Xbox One version of PUBG and I took a paycheck. <laughs> wow. Good lord. Oh my god. Anyway. Continuing on here. More stuff to talk about tonight. Uh, Froggins cheered. He said, If Twitch and Amazon finally started the long rumored video on demand service that competed with YouTube, that, that would be the final nail in the coffin for YouTube. And also, I didn't mean to sound like I was a hater apologist in the last year. Fair enough. And I agree with you. All you, we've been saying this forever. All YouTube needs is a valid competitor. Someone with the amount of money, the amount of server space, the amount of clout. Someone who we trust to do the right thing and do it right. Stand up and compete with YouTube. Even with as many people that don't like Twitch these days, I still think you'd see a ridiculous amount of people jumping ship from Twitch to YouTube. Excuse me, YouTube to Twitch because YouTube's far worse. Um, Jub Jub took me a dollar and Americans are too Sue crazy. Well, I agree with you. In general, and the truth of the matter is, and I told you guys, I'm not suing anyone, you know, but you're right. You know, a lot of Americans do tend to, to, to sue, 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 especially once you have money. Um, you know, I wouldn't do that. So, Richard Link cheered. He said, great stream as always. Thank you, Richard Link. Froggins cheered. He said, I think we forgot top contributor tonight gets to name the spider and ghost. Well, I haven't mentioned it in a long time. 
But yes, the top contributor of tonight will either get to name the ghost or the spider behind me. This is the last game. Okay? So this is your last opportunity. This is the last game. Right now, the top contributor is Jack Spartacus with a $20 tip. So if you have to top that, if you want to be able to name either the, the ghost or the spider behind me. Okay? Fair enough. And I'm a sex cheer. He said, reminder. Oh. He said it too. While both Environment SX and Froggins cheered and literally said the same thing. So thank you for that. Okay. <clears throat> I see Crowbar just subscribe. And what on earth? I don't even know what he did in his subscription. He put some kind of a link or something. I don't know what it is. I don't recommend anyone click it because I just don't know what it is. So don't click anything you see there. I don't even know if it worked because we block links in the stream chat. But he did subscribe. Thank you for the sub. I don't know what you're getting at with that link. <laughs> okay. Daki Smurf says, I think that you should take a look at the changes that YouTube made to its system. And I'm like, I don't care though. That's the thing, Daki Smurf. Like you're saying, oh, YouTube might have changed for the better. Now you can get those trolls who steal your con. I don't care anymore. YouTube already is a dead medium for me. YouTube is just an archive of my streams. I am a, a full-time streamer, period. I am not a YouTuber. I don't consider myself a YouTuber anymore, okay? I feel that that, those, that era is done. GSP Gaming is never going to get prominent again because of what's happened. KO Gaming is dead because YouTube killed it by demonetizing it. And so I am not going to care. I don't. That's great. Current content creators, current YouTubers... Good for you if they improve their copyright system. I don't care anymore. I'm done with that. I am here to stream. That's what I am here for, guys. Okay? How old was I when I first could grow a full beard like this, says Snakeyfish Gaming. I would say a full-on beard like this, probably like 17. My, I was able to grow facial hair very early. When I was like 15, I had a mustache. It was really... I guess I had a lot of testosterone. <laughs> Okay. Okay. That is not what I wanted. I did not want to pick up the same thing twice. I am in the circle. I'm in the circle. So it appears that once I staggered my drop and I hid the coordinates, that the troll was not able to interrupt my games anymore. So now we know moving forward, playing PUBG, if you guys do choose to see me continue to do this as a chill stream at night, uh, you know, on a semi-regular basis, we'll, let, we'll see what people say at the end of tonight's stream. Um... Then, uh, you know, we know how to avoid the, the bullshit. We know how to avoid the stream snipers, so. Oh, uh, an anonymous dollar tipper says that if the Modern Warfare Battle Pass is anything like Battlefields or, uh, excuse me, Fortnite's or Apex, it'll have cosmetics you earn for free, and then extra cosmetics you can only earn if you pay for the Battle Pass, likely also an in-game store with paid and free currencies. See, I could see that. I definitely could see that. But you have to understand, I feel that the customer base of Modern Warfare and Fortnite are different. I don't believe that people who are actively playing Modern Warfare uh, are the same people, you know, hardcore. The people who are spending lots of money on Modern Warfare are not the Fortnite players. You see what I'm saying? It's a different customer base. It's a different kind of player. I think that those, those people would have spent money on a DLC expansion. Or they might have bought the microtransaction boxes to get that rare weapon or whatever. They're not going to do that to get a skin that's worthless. They're not going to do that to get a unicorn head for their fucking character. Or to get rainbow sprinkles come out of their ass every time that they crouch. Or, you know, a fucking party balloon comes out of their nose every time that they hit you with a hammer or something. They don't... Call of Duty players aren't like that. You know? Not to say that they're the most mature people on the planet. That would be a real big thing, misstep there to say. But... I don't think that they're the kind of people that are going to be spending that kind of money. They're looking for valid content. You know, you buy the season pass and you get a ton of zombie maps and you get all the expansion maps. You know, 
the re you know, all the balance. Yeah, you know, see what I mean? Oh, Jesus Christ! Scared the living shit out of me. Oh, that guy was silent. He scared the shit out of me. All I heard was a gunshot. All right, we got time for one more. We definitely got time for one more. It scared me. <laughs> okay. Yay. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, you, you noticed there was zero sound, right? No, Not a single sound played. And if this was snow and they're supposed to be creeping, you would have heard the footprints. There was no sound played. So again, just another failure of the audio of this fucking game. Sucking ass and not working right. So stupid. <clears throat> I don't know why the hell they can't get this right. Again, they don't care. They took everyone's money in 2017. Remember, I was actually talking to Cat about this the other day. I was like, can you can you believe that in 2017 they sold this game as a bundle? They sold it as a fucking bundle with the Xbox One at Christmas. Acting like this was the game everyone wanted for Christmas. This game that runs like utter fucking shit two years later. They were selling like a Christmas bundle. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Holy crap. So anyway, yeah, that's, I was talking to, to Kat about this the other day because I told her I was playing PUBG again and everything. You know. I'm like, that's ridiculous. They actually sold this like a you're the Christmas bundle. Let's take the hottest game of the year, the hot you know. We're for PlayStation 4, sell God of War, game of the year last year with the PS4 at Christmas as a PS4 bundle, right? PUBG <laughs> They had nothing to sell last year. <clears throat> and my minus sex just cheered. And he says, I booted up Call of Duty World War II again after months, and they added a bunch of new OP weapons to get people to buy the loot crates. It's bullshit. Right. That's what I mean. Like, I feel I feel that, um, obviously, that if they're not doing that, but that's what I mean. Like, Call of Duty players, that's what they would spend money on. I'll spend money on the loot crates to try to pull the random weapon or the rare weapon early so that, that way I can be overpowered. Or, you know, I'll buy the season pass to get all the maps and the zombie content, whatever. Not, I'm going to sit here and buy microtransactions to put a red armband on my character. You see what I mean? Like, that, I don't think they're going to do that. I actually, I honestly think that they're going to be, uh, if that's what they're counting on to make money, that's a huge misstep and they're fucking up, but maybe I'm wrong. So again, la this, this legitimately is the last game. doesn't matter if this game lasts a long time or this game is quick. This is the last game of the night guys and top contributor by the end of this game. will be able to name either the spider or the ghost behind me right now. It's still Jack Spartacus with the $20 tip. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I know. Well, I know there's no loot boxes or paid for DLC maps. That's what they announced. So that's what I mean. I don't know what the hell they're going to sell. People are just 100% speculating and no one knows. No one knows how they're going to make money off this game. <clears throat> yes, Daki Swerve says, remember when they had horse armor DLC for Oblivion? Elder Scrolls Oblivion and that was considered ridiculous? Yes, I remember. At that point, people thought it was funny. Now it's like everything, every game has stupid shit like that. So it's not so funny anymore, is it? It's not so funny. <laughs> Rumble Stiltskins gifted a sub to Rumble Stiltskins fan. Wow. Funny how that works, huh? Well, Rumble Stiltskins fan, I hope you enjoyed the sub and thank you, Rumble Stiltskins, for the support. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Frog and Stewart, he said, I've noticed it's been a couple weeks between new releases. Are you happy your streams can continue to be successful without relying on new releases? Yes. I told you guys that one of the, the biggest, most most uh, liberating things that I have experienced as a streamer and content creator is that I am no longer tethered and tied to releases. I pretty much can play what I want, and people will come out and hang out with me because now the streams are interactive and fun no matter what I play. Admittedly, sometimes people will hate on a game no matter what because they're biased assholes. What else could you say when I say they just are sometimes? But I play a wide variety of stuff. Today I'm playing Battle Royale. Earlier today I played a third-person shooter 
more more cutesy kind of style game with replacements for the zombies tomorrow i'm probably playing something retro style and minecraft this week i'm playing a wrestling game i'm playing the new call of duty and i'm playing a freaking open world style well i don't think it's open worlds but a little bit more linear but an rpg in the thread of like knights of the old republic with uh with the outer uh, world and i'm all playing that within a week and i don't have to worry at any one of those particular streams that oh man I'm not going to appease a certain group of people and they're not going to show No one's going to show up to my streams. I had to worry about that back in the day when I did stuff for YouTube and YouTube was my main in income. I constantly had to worry about that because you, the YouTube audience was very fickle. And if you weren't playing the hottest new release, they wouldn't show up. And I had to say that. It's just true. Like, they would be like, oh, Phil wants to play retro games today? Well, fuck Phil. Retro games are boring. I don't like that. You know, that's old pixely shit. That's not the hottest new graphics. I'm not watching that. Today, I, I can play any one thing I want, and it ends up being a lot of fun, and I really love that. I, like I said, that's why I love my streams so much. It really is so different. I felt A lot of times back then, I felt like a prisoner. I, I got to play this new fucking game I don't care about because that's the only thing anyone will tune in for. <clears throat> now it's, it's the opposite, right? A lot of the times, if I play the new releases, people complain the new releases suck. Do something different. Holy shit. Talk about a change in attitude. That's like wild. Oh, uh, Calista Rick Columbus cheered. He said, I'm ashamed to admit I can't grow hair on my back. It's embarrassing every time I go swimming or when I'm in a locker room. I think it's because my mother drinks soy milk. <laughs> what the hell? Nice cheer. Okay, then. Thanks for that little uh, little bit of information. Appreciate that. Oh, my God. I'm the opposite. I got like a, you know, like a rug on my back. I braid it, and it's, it's really cool. I've got like these uh, like dreadlocks on my back that come off. Really nice. Took a while to grow, but it's pretty pretty interesting. I'm thinking about calling Guinness. In fact, what happens is, you know, when I'm off stream, I don't wear a shirt, and then Jasper just jumps and latches onto my back, and he hangs off my big carpet of back hair as I walk around the house. It's pretty nice. <laughs> okay, then. There you go. Picture that one. <laughs> Hey, yeah, yeah. Is this the vector? This is the gun that people told me is good, and I should pick it up. Okay, I'm picking up the vector, everybody. I'm giving it a shot. All right, Frog is serious. Isn't it ironic? Project Seven was actually an accurate description of being a YouTuber locked in an isolation with being forced to play games. I mean, yeah. In reality, sometimes you you, you kind of have to maybe think a little bit about it. I think maybe if that was my subconscious kind of coming out a little bit and saying that's kind of how I felt a lot of the time. One of the most disappointing times ever in my 11-year history as a content creator was when I did the Summer of Retro in 2013. So this was a summer. I had started doing direct capture, okay? And I wanted to play all the games from my youth because I was finally doing direct capture and I knew that I could finally do them justice with visuals. And I said... I want to play Super Mario World. I want to play Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. I want to play Earthbound. I want to play Chrono Trigger. You know, some of the best overall games of the 90s that you can think of. And I played them all that summer. The views on YouTube were abysmally low. I'm talking probably about one-fourth what they usually were back then. Back when, back when I was popular. And I was bringing in insane views no matter what I played. Those playthroughs got no attention. I got thousands no exaggeration of complaints most of the comments on the videos were why are you playing this shitty game you should be playing new releases we hate this like it was so disheartening for me because i you know love those games and i was like i finally get to share this with an audience that has made me popular on the internet and we get to have this cool experience together reliving these games and it was the complete and utter opposite thing happened where people were just shitting on it the streams remember i was streaming in 2013 the streams people weren't showing up to the streams the people that were there were complaining constantly and i was like holy shit man and now <clears throat> here i am in 2019 going back and playing like mario world a second time and no one's complaining everyone's like wow this is cool we want to see you play more keep going people are actually like wow i love that game i, I you know keep playing it and stuff which is really neat so it's funny, Froggins, in some degree, you may be correct. It may have been actually my subconscious coming out and kind of speaking, saying, sometimes I feel like I'm just trapped playing games I don't like because that's my the way I make a living because I can't just play whatever I want because people were fickle on YouTube back then, and I don't have to worry about that shit anymore, which is great. <clears throat> the Patriarchy just did a $21 tip 
I said I could create a spider being named Spo Spoderman. Is it Sp Sp Spoderman? Spoderman? Spooderman? I gotta figure out how to pronounce this. But Pastriarchy is currently the top contributor today with a $21 tip. Let's get him up there on the leaderboard. Thank you, Pastriarchy, for the contribution. Shit. Shit. Now, he may not win. I am playing for one more game here. But right now, he is in the lead, okay? Um, Elonius Monk. Did 100 bit cheer? Sp Spotterman? Is it Sp Spoderman or Spotterman? <laughs> Probably Spoderman. Okay, Sp so if he wins, this guy over here is named Spoderman. Alonius Monk cheered. He said, love the stream tonight, not for the game, but for the interaction. Me too. I agree with you. Captain Caveman cheered. He said, all these Terminator movies, but where's the twins part two? <laughs> Danny DeVito and, and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger reunited for the epic sequel of Twins you always wanted. They look even more alike now. <laughs> well... I didn't see a single person. I see Crowbar. Just did a $22 tip and said, Name the spider PETA. PETA? PETA? <laughs> All right. Well, fair enough. That kind of sucked. That was another fast-ass game. Double ARP killed me, which is pretty funny. Um, I see Crowbar is currently the top contributor. Technically, I assumed that game was going to last a few more minutes, and it didn't. So I'll stick around for like five more minutes here. Uh, but right now, Icy Crowbar is in the lead. With a $22 tip, thank you very much. We're up to $69. Of course, $69. Of course. In tips tonight. Thank you, guys. Um, Guitar Player 1939 has resubscribed for, re for 39 months. Thank you for 39 months of support. Guitar Player, one of my long-standing uh, supporters. Appreciate that. Peter! <laughs> Oh my god, I get to be playing it, watching this guy? Why would I report player? I guess technically you would report the player if, like, like the asshole trolls who are insulting me and shit, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's when you would report them, right? <clears throat> How long has Super Blind Man been subbed? He's the longest subber by far. He, I think he was the first person who subbed to me here on Twitch. But I couldn't tell you exactly how long he's been subbed, but it's been a long fucking time, dude. He's the longest sub for sure. Okay. All right, so I will hang around for five more minutes and then we'll call it a night, okay? Five, so I'll be here till 9.05. This is a little bit more than five minutes. If anyone else wants to try to top the top contribution of Icy Crowbar, since that fucking match was so insanely quick, but chances are that Icy Crowbar is going to win. It's going to be Peter. <laughs> yeah, Decky Swerve says you can report the stream snipers by, by watching them after you die. Keenan cheered. He said, well, this will be the last PUBG and YouTube talk. I didn't know YouTube gets you to rant like that, honestly. Um, I don't know. It depends on what people ask about. Whenever I do interactive streams like this, the discussion goes towards whatever people ask me and whatever the topics go. Sometimes we have absolutely nothing like that at all, okay? But sometimes it does, you know, I don't know. It's I, I think it's funny because... Um, when I used to play PUBG, people would also ask me similar questions like this, and then I go on rants like this. So it's like, it really is a throwback to like two years ago what would happen when I played PUBG. <laughs> it really is. An anonymous gifter gifted a sub to Lightside Bill. Oh boy, congrats. 69 combo breaker to the dollar said, Gooby, please kill Spoderman. Okay. Well, we're up to $70 tips. Thanks. <laughs> uh, an anonymous cheerer did a 50 bit cheer. Thank you very much to the anonymous cheerer. Okay. Tell you a story from my old job. A story from my old job. What old job? <laughs> oh, I can take the headphones off. Thank God. Oh, it feels so refreshing to take the fucking headphones off. It really does. <sighs> oh, man. Joe Schmo, I already addressed this dollar tip that you just did again. And again, I, I said, I don't know what the hell you're addressing. If you're talking about a year and a half ago, that was the past. So I'm not going to talk about it again. Oh. <sighs> Solly Banks did a big uh, highlighted message about the frogs. We are many and we are one. We are the frog army or something like that. But then it scrolled off. I couldn't read it. <laughs> <clears throat> Mr. 
We are the Frog Army. Derek, the PUBG games did not go very well. I think once I got top 20, but I literally didn't kill anyone but one person who I point blank killed with a shotgun. I couldn't shoot a single person because the game sucks. So, but again, that's not what these streams are about, so I don't really care. <laughs> What's up, Freddy? Of course, Jack. Jack Spartacus says, I love how the trolls are so pissed you're getting tips. Oh, cool. They needed one of the frog emotes coming out of a pumpkin, which is nice. Of course they're pissed. They're always pissed. Whenever I get something, they're pissed. <laughs> well, Iron Zord, if they were referencing the demonetization of YouTube last year, I lost the Curse Partnership, and I think I want to say it was like June of 2018. And then the demonetization happened in July... So you're talking a year and a, and a quarter, okay, not a year and a half, a year and a quarter ago. And as I've told all of you about 40 times this year, YouTube ad revenue went, <clears throat> as of January this year, it just went right into the toilet and never came back. So I don't care anymore. Like last year, yeah, that was a big problem. This year, not so much. So. <clears throat> no, I don't have time for another match. I'm only hanging around for another two more minutes. Yes, I did hear, Derek, they massively increased the roster for WWE 2K20 this year, but I also heard the game is pretty bad. A lot, a lot of people are criticizing it, saying that it's like the worst one in years because Ukes, who I guess was the ongoing game, uh, company who worked on this for a long time, um, I guess didn't wasn't involved with it this year. And so this other, you know, wh whoever else this is worked on it, apparently did a horrendously bad job. It's laughable, full of glitches, and the graphics are terrible and everything, so... I guess we'll see. <clears throat> uh, Jackie Smurf, I don't know. Kat and I are going to spend some time tonight. I don't know what we're doing tonight. Um, depends on how she's feeling. I know she's been playing a lot of Skyrim. She may be bored of it by now because she's been playing so much this week. I don't know. I'm trying I'm trying to convince her to try Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. I think she'll really like it. It's the kind of game I think she'll like. She likes third-person shooters or action-based games, and this one has a lot of cute humor and stuff in it. I think she'll really like it. But <clears throat> Excuse me. And Vive NSX just cheered. Again, use the Terminator cheer mode. Thank you. It's a pretty big cheering week if you look at the leaderboard. Yeah, it's been a pretty good week, I would say, overall. And one more day tomorrow. So tomorrow we got... Um, all right, I made my decision. Here's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I've, I've officially made my decision. I want to do retro stuff. I want to do a lot of Super Mario World, but I'm afraid if I do all Super Mario World, that'll end up being like a dead stream. So I want to do half and half. I think I'll do some Super Mario World and Mario Kart um, tomorrow. Because... Mario World will be a lot of fun. There'll be some cheap deaths, but it'll be a lot of fun. Mario Kart will bring the rage. Mario Kart will bring a lot of fucking rage because that game is so cheap. And I need to do Special Cup, and then I'm going on to the even higher speed races that are even harder. So I think that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. A little bit of retro tomorrow. We're going to do Mario World paired with Mario Kart on the main gameplay stream. And tomorrow night's going to be Minecraft, okay? <clears throat> so we got that tomorrow, mainstream, and Minecraft tomorrow night. I just said that. Frog and Series, with September subs slowly going away, your sub count has stayed surprisingly high. Good shit. Well, what happened, if you didn't notice, Froggins, they dipped, like, a ton. Like, they went from, like, I was at, like, 650 or something like that, and they went all the way down to, like, low 500s. But then this month, as I've been putting out fun streams and everything, they went back up again. So I'm pleased with that because what that shows is growth because I didn't used to get that many subs, and now I'm consistently getting 600 or above. That's actually a really good sign. So, that's awesome, and thanks to anyone who subscribes. Alright, guys, well... That is it. Icy Crowbar looks like he's the top contributor of the night, and so we are going to name the spider Peter... Peter Parker... Not Peter Parker, just Peter. So, the spider is officially now named Peter. Very nice. Thanks to everyone who contributed tonight. Thanks to everyone who hung out with me tonight in PUBG. Again, if you guys like this and you want to see me continue doing PUBG as my Battle Royale stream like once a week or so, or when I get a chance. And that's another thing I want to say for those who are watching on YouTube as well. That's why I didn't stop recording yet. FYI, um, this coming week has a ton of new releases. We've got coming up WWE 2K20, Outer Worlds, and Modern Warfare all in one week. Chances are... 
I'm not going to be doing as many chill streams, and the ones that I do are going to be like Dragon Quest Builders 2 to try to finish the game. This is probably going to go on hold, and probably uh, Throwback Street Fighter is going to go on hold. And quite frankly, even the retro stuff I've been doing may go on hold for a bit while I'm tackling all these multiple new releases, and it may go on hold for a while. Dragon Quest Builders 2 I have to keep doing because I have to try to finish that goddamn game to move on to other stuff, but a lot of these things may go on hold for a bit while I tackle the new releases. All right. Now, I know you guys like the chill streams and stuff. I'm going to try to maybe do at least once a week. We'll see. But it's going to be pretty difficult. Um, it's going to be pretty difficult to continuously do these while I'm tackling everything else. Because if I only do one new release stream a day early and nothing at night, and it's always old stuff at night, I'm going to get so inundated. Because I got three games this week, the Halloween stuff the next week, Two games the next week, two games the next week, one game the next week. So, holy shit, right? Okay. Well, there you go, guys. That's the deal. 